Google, by far the easiest place to search when you have a question. But it can be a hidden mist when it comes to academic research. So if you have a scholarly question, Google Scholar is your answer. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tanushri from Biotechnica. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about how to use Google Scholar for your research. So let's get started. Let's first understand what is a Google Scholar. Google Scholar is a free academic search engine that can be thought of as the academic version of Google. Using Google Scholar, you can broadly search for scholarly literature. Just at one place, you can search for various articles. It can be a research article or review article or conference papers. You can search for thesis and dissertations. You can search for books, abstracts, technical reports, post opinions, patents from the academic publishers, universities, professional societies, online repositories and other websites. Now, we all use Google for our daily internet searches. So why should we switch to Google Scholar? Well, there are several features of Google Scholar that makes it more popular for scholarly literature search. So let's have a look on the features of Google Scholar. Using Google Scholar, as I mentioned earlier, you can search for scholarly literature from just at one place. You can search for articles, books, conference papers, thesis and dissertations, and many more. Then you can also explore. You can explore the author's profile, publications, citations, and related publications. Then you can locate the complete document. You can uh, find the whole document because Google Scholar provides you the link that allow you to easily find the full text version of the article or the, the document that you are looking for, the complete document that you are looking for. Then you can also keep up with recent developments. So you can stay up to date with the latest scientific developments in your research area. Then even you can keep track of your scientific work citations. Then also Google Scholar helps you create your academic profile. Other than these features, some more features of Google Scholar are that it provides you an option to copy a formatted citation in different styles, either in MLA or APA. Then you can also export bibliographic data. So you can export the citation data as Bibtex, which is a reference management software for formatting list of references, or RIS, that is the research information system files that any major reference manager can import. So we can say that using the Google Scholar, you can access an abundance of knowledge just at your fingertips. And it is very easy to use, user friendly, and you can retrieve desired user intent documents in no time. So Google Scholar, we can say is the place to go to search for the scholarly literature. So if you are the student, a researcher, teacher, scientist, or scientific uh, writer, then definitely Google Scholar is the place to go to search for scholarly literature. Now the question arises, how we can use Google Scholar for uh, searching the documents, the articles, the abstracts, or the books? So the very first step is you have to open your preferred internet browser and then you have to go to this particular link. So when you click on this link, uh, you will uh, the, the page will open and there you can uh, mention the title of the article you are looking for or the keyword, uh, which keyword related to the article or the document you are looking for. So let's say I want to search for the articles on drug discovery. So I have mentioned the drug discovery uh, over here. And uh, on clicking on the search, following result page will be displayed. So you can see that Google Scholar has provided all the articles uh, on drug discovery. Now let's understand the results which are displayed on the uh, Google Scholar search results page in detail. So let's say if I see this particular result, then the first two lines, they provide a core bibliographic information. The very first line, it provides the title of the document, which can be an article, it can be a book or a chapter or any report. And the second line, basically, it uh, provides the bibliographic information in order. So the very first name will be of the author or authors, then it will uh, provide you 
the information about the journal or the book in which that uh, particular article or article is uh, present right is published then year of publication and the publisher so everything is in order the bibliographic information is always written in particular order and on clicking the title link you can go to the like it will bring you to the uh, publishers page where you can access the complete information about that particular document or the article in this case then let's talk about the options which are given to you like even the google scholar provide you the quick full text access option so the to the far right you can see that there is a option for you, you like when you click on it you will get an access to the complete uh, whole document access you will get so basically on clicking it either so basically google scholar provide you the the option uh, for uh, referring to the whole document either in pdf or in html then uh, when we talk about the bottom line it provide you several uh, useful links so basically let's say you want to save this particular uh, article so this particular option this particular uh, link will allow you to save relevant articles uh, to your library then uh, you can also use this site feature so basically this will allow you to um, like you can use this feature to cite in your current or future uh, research work that is this article you can cite in your current or future research work now i would like to uh, provide you some details i would like to uh, tell you some more details about this citation so basically when we talk about the citation like google scholar it allows to retrieve citations in popular uh, formats like as you can see here mla apa chicago harvard or vancouver so citation basically what is citation citation is a way of giving credit to individuals for the creative and intellectual works that you utilize to support your research so there are many different ways of citing resources from your research and the citation style depends upon the academic discipline involved like for example apa it is most commonly used by education or psychology and sciences whereas mla it is most commonly being used by humanities and so on so moving on to the previous page so we have some more uh, links that you can use so like here you can see cited by 3537 so basically it provides you it shares the analytics of the time the research paper is cited in other works and then you have this related articles which helps you find similar articles on your topic of interest and versions so as a result as a reader using this feature you can explore the author's past versions of the research paper and keenly refer to the latest updates of the article so you can see how useful is uh, google scholar everything you are getting just at one place and uh, remember that google scholar limits each uh, search to a maximum of 1000 results so it's still too much to explore and you need an effective way of uh, locating the relevant article so here are some tips that will help you save time and search more effectively so the very first tip is that uh, the google scholar searches are not case sensitive that means if you are looking for the articles on let's say on machine learning or drug discovery so if i write the drug discovery this way or i write the drug discovery this way it will provide the same result so the google scholar searches are not case sensitive then you can use keywords instead of full sentences so instead of writing the entire uh, title or uh, like if, if we are specifically you know the keywords uh, related to your article you can specifically uh, use them to search for the your uh, to search for the document you are looking for then uh, you can uh, use quotes to search for an exact match so let's say you know the title of the document right title of the article you are looking for so if you put the title in the quotes right so if you are looking for a particular article and you know the title it is best to put it into the quotes to look for an exact match then you can add the year to the search phrase to get articles published in a particular year let's say i want to uh, 
go through the articles on antibiotic resistance bacteria published in year 2019. So if I will write antibiotic resistance bacteria 2019, so it will limit the search results about the antibiotic resistance bacteria to articles that were published in year 2019 only. Then you can also use the sidebar controls to adjust your search results. So basically here is the sidebar is the sidebar that you can see so basically over here you can see that you can uh, either sort by date you can uh, review articles which include patents or include citations right and the time like since 2022 or 21 or 2018 so even you can use this sidebar controls to adjust your search result and then you can use boolean operator to better control your searches so for example if you are using n so let's say I'm writing the keyword self-driving cars and autonomous vehicles. So only results will be shown by Google Scholar that contain both the phrases self-driving cars and autonomous vehicles. That is in my article, these two phrases should be there. So only the Google Scholar will show the results where these both the phrases are present or which uh, the articles which contain these phrases. Now, if I'm writing not right if not is placed in front of a word or a phrase so google scholar will exclude results which include them and if i'm writing or then or like for example self-driving cars or autonomous vehicles then in that case or will give equal weightage to results which match just one of the words or phrases on the either side so either it will emphasize on self-driving cars or the autonomous vehicles so Question arises like now we know how to use a Google Scholar, but the question arises how to create a Google Scholar account or a profile. So don't worry, it's very easy. All you need to do is that you need to visit the scholar.google.com and then you have to click on this my profile. Okay, so here you can see this is the my profile option on the top left of the page. Then if you click on it, it will take you to the next page and it will ask you to input the name. So here I have put a screenshot of the page. So you can see it will ask you about the name. It will ask you about the affiliation, the email address, area of interest and also university homepage. Please remember the university homepage is optional. It is not mandatory. You can skip it. Then once you add all the details, uh, like your name, the affiliation, email for verification and areas of interest. You click on to the next and the next step is that you have to add your publications. So basically, you can either select group or articles by looking into the research paper site, uh, research paper listed. So let's say I'm, I want to add my research uh, papers uh, uh, into this Google Scholar, right? So I have written my name over here. So all the, like when I click on the group, so what will happen? Actually, the Google Scholar has been indexing the scholarly works, right? So it might be easier for us to choose the documents and add them to the publications, right? So basically, when we select the groups, so the Google Scholar, wherever the name is mentioned, my name is mentioned, it will group all those articles where my name is mentioned. Now, there's a possibility that uh, the group might have the articles which I have not, which I have not authored. So let's say this is uh, these are the articles which I have not authored. So maybe I can I can uh, definitely deselect them, right? Similarly, if you are choosing the article, then all the articles will be. Uh, you can see it on your screen that there will be all the articles. It will uh, it will show, and uh, the, those articles which are not been written by me, I can deselect them. Now, after adding the publications, the it will give you an option to uh, pick the convenient uh, options that work best for you. So, like it will provide you the options to select for article update or profile visibility and follow by email, right? So, like article update, either you want the updates automatically or email me updates for reviews, so anyone you can select. Then, whether you want your profile visibility to be public or private. Kindly note that uh, if you make your profile public, right, it is it is advisable to add a, your profile uh, picture and uh, make it public to increase your profile visibility, discoverability and publications. But it's completely your choice. You can change your profile visibility from public to private anytime. 
And once you have activated your profile, the Google Scholar gives you the option of automatically emailing you any new citations to your work. So for that, you have to click on the follow tab. Then even you can sign it, uh, sign in to the Google Scholar using your institution or library account. So basically for this, you have to open the Scholar homepage, you have to go to menu and you have to jump over to the Google Scholar settings. On clicking on the Google Scholar settings at the top of the Google Scholar web page, then you can see a library links are there. Okay, So you can type in the name of your institution. So here you can type the name of your institution and even you can uh, check the box next to your university name and then you have to click the save so basically why it is always recommended to sign in using your institutional or library account because many sources uh, google scholar finds have restricted access like you cannot access the entire complete uh, document whole document so if you have an access to library or other institution that subscribes to the right subscribes to the right services you may be able to reach these you will be able to reach those documents or articles now please note that uh, it's not that you have you need uh, always the computer to access the google scholar you can access the google scholar using mobile device as well using your mobile phones as well now here i would like to tell you some more uh, information about the google scholar like there are a lot of frequently asked questions regarding google scholar i have uh, picked few of them and i would like to answer those questions so the question is that is google scholar a scholarly source so basically the answer is no, the Google Scholar is a bibliographic search engine rather than a bibliographic database. Then is that Google Scholar only compiled peer reviewed sources only? So again, the answer is no here. The Google Scholar collects research papers from all over the web, including non peer reviewed papers and reports as well. Then do you have to pay to use Google Scholar? Well. The Google Scholar do, does not provide any full text content itself. Links to the full text articles on the publisher page, which can be either the open access or paywall content. So, like usually, the Google Scholar will not ask you to, uh, like, uh, you don't have to pay uh, uh, for the Google Scholar. However, like, there will be some uh, articles which the full text content is not being displayed. Google Scholar does not provide any full text content itself. So links to the full text articles on publisher page, uh, like if it is open access, then it is fine. But if it is uh, paid, then definitely you have to pay for it. Then what is the easiest way to access Google Scholar? So the easiest way to access Google Scholar is Google Scholar button and the browser, browser extension that allow you to easily access Google Scholar from any web page. And you can install it from the Chrome Web Store. So this is all about Google Scholar. And uh, in the end, I would like to say that Google Scholar is a great place to go when you don't know where to start. So it's, it's a go-to place for the scholarly literature, be it articles, books, documents, uh, court opinions, patents. So set your Google account, explore its features, and get ready to go. So this is all for now. If you have liked the video, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.